Cyprian Awiti will continue serving as Homabi governor after surviving an election petition lodged by his rival Oyugi Magwanga. The third and fourth respondents prayer in the notice of motion of the 31st of July 2018 seeking a declaration that the IABC as currently constituted is legally competent to conduct a fresh Homabe gubernatorial election is hereby disallowed. In a ruling by the Supreme Court, the judges ruled that Awiti's election was done in accordance with the Constitution, setting aside the trial and appellate court's ruling, which nullified his victory. The effect being that the election results for Homer Bay County in respect of the offices of governor and deputy governor has declared by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, the first respondent, will stand as the valid position under the control. The court ruled it had jurisdiction to hear and determine the petition since the matter before it was a clear case of interpretation of the constitution. There were celebrations outside the court as supporters of Awiti, who had waited since early afternoon for the ruling, danced in victory. Representing my governor, Cyprian Awiti, at least our victory has now been endorsed and confirmed. And we only appeal to Homer Bay County that we are extending a hand of comradeship and a hand of working together. Elsewhere, a suspect arrested in connection with the Dusit D2 terror attack will remain in custody for 21 more days for the police to conclude the investigations after the court allowed a miscellaneous application by the prosecution to continue detaining the suspect. Benson Maina Mwangi is suspected to be an associate of Ali Salim Gishunge, the key attacker, and is believed to have facilitated procurement of a third-party insurance cover for the vehicle that transported the terrorists to the hotel. The application is allowed. The respondent will be held at any police station on the road for a period of 21 days, pending the conclusion of investigations by ATP. The matter will be mentioned on the 20th of February 2019 before the judge could confirm if the investigations are complete. The respondent is informed of his right to the representation. The investigating officer to facilitate the respondent's access to the next of kin is appropriate. For scales of justice, I'm Ben Troy Joel.